Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to blend colors without using the bad habit tool, which is the blend tool. So without any further ado, let's just jump right in. So to demonstrate it, let's just suppose that we are painting a part of the skin. So the first step is to create a new layer, obviously, and I've selected my skin color and I am using soft airbrush. So the first step is to fill in the shape with the color, but making sure that you're not putting much pressure onto the screen with your Apple Pencil. So once you're done with that, now what you want to do is you want to decrease the size of the brush and let's just suppose you want some shadows right here. So just decrease the size of the brush for that and I'm using the same color but to put the shadows, just to show the shadows, what I'm doing is I'm putting more pressure onto the screen with my pencil so it is creating a dark shade of the same color. You can choose a darker version of the color that you're using, but I decided to use the same color. So let's just add the shadows like that. Now to blend in the color, what you want to do is just increase the size of the brush just a little bit and go over the edges of the shadows in circular motion. But you want to make sure that the, you're not putting much pressure onto the screen while you do that. So here I'm going over the edges with um, really light-handed and in circular motions. As you can see, it is already blended. Now you see more edges of the blended parts. So for, for that, what you want to do is increase the size of the brush a little bit more. And just do the same thing and go over the edges in circular motions once again and making sure that you're putting really light pressure with your pencil. Now it already looks pretty blended. Now to compare, I do have a video on how to blend colors or how to master the blend tool on Procreate. So do check that out and kind of compare both of these and let me know down in the comments section down below which um, technique do you like the most. So I'd highly recommend checking that video out. So yeah, this looks pretty amazing. Now I do wanna highlight some parts so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take a lighter version of the same color and I am choosing a bigger size of the brush and going over this circle thing I guess and going over the blend the shadows a little bit So there are three steps or maybe four steps involved in blending out the colors without using the blending tool. So the first, in, first one is to fill in the shape that you want to paint and then put in the shadows uh, with the smaller size of the brush. Then the third step would be to increase the size of the brush and going over the edges in circular motion, making sure that you're barely touching the screen or the pressure of the pencil is really, really low. And the fourth step would be, again, to go in the circular motions over the shadows, but this time with a bigger size of the brush. Now I'm just gonna be applying the same techniques and I'm gonna be painting lips 
and I'm just going to speed through the process so that you can really see what I'm doing. So yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and do let me know down in the comment section below how you like this technique and give it a try and let me know if this worked for you. And I'll see you guys the next time.